2014, Lisa Pavlak and her husband Rob decided they'd like to do some woodworking. They thought it would be a good hobby for when they get to retirement age. While Rob had experience, Lisa had a steep learning curve. I had never even held a screwdriver. <laughs> I didn't know anything about uh, drills and uh, planers. And so six years ago, my husband bought a secondhand planer, so we planed a few boards. I fell in love with um, the, the the surprise that you see after you plane a piece of wood. So when you start seeing the grain, so it all started with that. So we have a um, a sawmill. Um, so we mill mostly hardwood. Uh, and we kiln dry it. I sell rough sawn uh, lumber to uh, hobbyists and some con contractors. Uh, also, I um, started doing some woodworking myself. So we have a little store. I, I like to show off uh, what finished wood looks like. That's how I initially started with this store um, and uh, became a passion of mine. So I, I truly enjoy um, uh, taking a rough, piece of lumber and making it into a beautiful product. It's very much a family business. Rob still has a busy law practice, so he helps on the weekends, while Lisa's son James works full time as the Sawyer. Um, he's taken over the, the milling, the drying, and dealing with customers who are buying rough sawn lumber, and I'm focusing mostly on the finished product, the uh, woodworking piece. My husband and I love horses, so we have the three, we have three horses, um, we have a lovely barn, and we've just bought some angora goats and we're told there's quite a demand for um, mohair that we'll, we'll get from them and um, we also have some chickens and we'll be selling eggs so just it's just a fun business it's a fun place to visit last year was a busy one at the hardwood tree due to the pandemic softwood and hardwood sales were strong many people had time to do projects around the house and they also needed desks for working or studying from home the other thing I noticed is um, so many people came out to visit our business. Um, they in, enjoyed coming out outdoors, not being stuck inside, seeing uh, and learning uh, um, how we make our products, how we mill our lumber. They uh, were able to feed our horses. Um, and also they wanted to support local. And I just just loved that um, they, they came out um, it was incredible. Last Christmas, it was so busy here. Was, at night, I'd have to stay, stay late to fill the shelves. So I was really, really pleased of all the support. It was fantastic. In Cooksbrook, this is Ryan Taplin for the Saltwire Network.